so let's turn to a quick demo of uh, Montru in Java Spring Swing. I have just launched the actual editor. Uh, as you see on the left side, um, it actually knows nothing uh, about its environment. It's just an empty shell. Uh, I have to load uh, the basic um, knowledge that uh, this editor itself requires uh, from a JSON file. I just load the file. Now I see that the sum of the types appeared here. Later I realized that I cannot keep up uh, with the development of the MDPC language Dust and Montru uh, in the JSON configuration file, so I created um, a short hack uh, that uses uh, Java Reflection to uh, find the basic components from actual uh, Java classes. Uh, this is why I also have to press the load reflection button and now I have all the components that uh, are used by the system. Uh, the first thing I would like to introduce you is the entity concept. So the entity is, um, is something uh, that I use instead of the object-oriented programming's uh, object uh, concept because I realized that uh, uh, I have to know three different layers uh, about something. Uh, the existence is represented by the entity. Uh, the entity may contain, must contain one and may contain lots of other uh, types inside it, which are just uh, packages of uh, actual information that I want to know about it. So this is how I can solve the problems of uh, multiple inheritance or the change of the types an actual uh, instance belongs to over its lifetime or the changes of the definition uh, of those types. And the third thing is the services that it uh, provides uh, based on its own data because uh, for this connection I have to, uh, have to uh, reach out uh, to the actual runtime right now in uh, to, the, uh, to the Java runtime environment. Um, so let's see, for example, the store entity. This is actually a JSON file that I have just uh, loaded, or uh, by the way, the service itself that loads uh, the content of the JSON file. As you see, it's quite empty. I don't really see what uh, is inside uh, this, um, this entity. But if I say that I also want to see the identified uh, type content inside this entity. Now I see that uh, it's it's actually um, a local path of the JSON file. But if I also add the stream type here and also connect uh, to this entity, right now I see that uh, when it's loaded and uh, where the actual file was. Uh, this entity concept is very useful not only for uh, data instances, but also uh, allows me to do the, use the same environment to send messages to these components. Uh, right now, for example, I want to repeat the loading of the file. Uh, to do this, I have to create a new message. Uh, let's see, this is what I will send uh, to this loader, but I also need uh, the load command. Mm. So yeah, this is the store load command. I just set this command uh, to the message command. Now I see that I can send it to uh, the store and whoops, uh, the load just proceeded. It just updated the t uh, type time of, of the loadi loading. Maybe you didn't catch it for the first time, so I send it again. Uh, so it's uh, 0814 and now it's 0829, uh, the actual procedure just uh, went on. So as you see, uh, this entity approach allows me to very flexibly uh, reconfigure the content of any entity, see different uh, parts uh, of entities, and it gives me the same environment for data management and uh, sending messages to the components. Actually, uh, the same message sending uh, procedure is used all around in this Montreux environment. Uh, so when you see that I just uh, change something on the screen uh, and it appears on different places, 
uh, it is done by uh, the source code I just showed you. They are listeners, they are receiving messages uh, from the updates.